The history panel in Lightroom is so much better than Photoshop. Welcome to the Visual Center, I'm Trent. In this video, I'm going to share with you how great the history panel is in Lightroom Classic. Now, I'll be sharing some great tips near the end of this video, which may help you improve your editing by using the history panel. I know it helped improve mine. Now, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up by clicking on the icon below. So really help the Visual Center to grow. Now, let me show you how the history panel works. All right, the history panel is here on this left side column in the develop module in Lightroom Classic. Click on the arrow to drop that down and we'll see a list of the edits made to an image. Now, be aware that the items in the panel read from bottom to top. So the last adjustment made to an image will be here at the top of the list. Now, this panel will record almost everything we do in Lightroom. And amazingly, it pretty much records it indefinitely. Now, unlike Photoshop, this panel in Lightroom keeps this record or the history of the adjustments made to an image even when we quit and restart the software. Let's give it a try. So I'm gonna quit Lightroom. Now, now I'm gonna reopen the software. Now we can see, now that I've restarted the software, this history states are exactly the same as they were before I quit. Now hopefully you've already noticed that the preview image here in the navigator reveals a preview of what the image looked like at the current state my cursor is hovering over. So if I hover over this highlight section, we can see that image changes based off of that edit I made at that state. Now if I move my cursor up and down the history state, the preview image changes. That's a pretty cool feature. I can select each point to actually travel back to that state in my editing process. Now, when we apply certain adjustments to an image, specifically adjustments with numerical values, we'll see some numbers here on the right side. This left number is the amount changed, and the right number is the new value of the change. Now, let's adjust this image a bit. So I'm gonna to go to this top history state. I'm actually gonna select a slider that I haven't used yet. So I'm gonna adjust my shadows. I'm gonna bring my shadows down a bit. And you can see the shadows state in my history panel says negative 75 and negative 75. These are the same because it's the first time I've adjusted that slider. If I go back to shadows and move it to, let's say, 55, minus 55, you see this left number now displays the amount change, plus 20, and the right number shows the current value that that adjustment is set to, so negative 55. Now, do be aware that as soon as I select a previous state of my image and make a new adjustment, those previous states above the one I had just selected are now deleted. They're gone and I can't get back to them. So every time you go to a previous state and then make an adjustment to the image, the adjustments above the current selection will be deleted when you make a new adjustment. So be careful of that. Now here are some useful ways I would use the history panel. And this is how I've really improved my editing in Lightroom Classic. Now the cool thing about these different history states is I can actually use them for my before image and before and after views. I can use this ability to compare the adjustments or refinements I make to an image. If you use the backslash key to see the before and after image, you can see here the top right corner, this image is the before image. Now currently my before image is actually the raw image straight out of my camera, the image I imported into Lightroom. Now we can actually right click on a history state and set that as my before image. So I'm gonna to go to this white clipping state, right click and select copy history step settings to before. So now when I go to the before image, you're gonna see that actually the before image is showing this state in my history. Just hit backslash to get back to the current image. Now we can also do the same with the before and after view. If I go down to the bottom here, this YY icon is my before and after view. Now the before is still set to this white clipping state. I can actually select and drag and drop a specific state on top of my before image in this view and that will change the before view to whatever state I drag and drop on top of the image. So now if I make a minor adjustment, I can see, let's go to the second top adjustment. I can see the minor adjustment, what it did to the image. So that exposure adjustment, you can see how much it changed by looking and comparing my before and after image. Now an easy way to reset this before image to the original out of camera image is just click and drag that import state from the history panel. Now, I use this technique to see large and also minor adjustments made to an image. This helps me see how my adjustments, especially my further along, maybe more subtle adjustments, affect my image. I'm turn off before and after. Let's say I make a minor adjustment to the color of this image. 
So I'm gonna readjust the hue of my reds, thus affecting the coat my model is wearing. If I go to the before and after, I can actually select the adjustment just prior to that and see the subtle changes made to that specific adjustment. Now be aware that you can delete all of your history states in your history panel. You can do this by selecting this X to the right of the history panel. Now you can see all my states of history are gone. Now you're going to want to be especially careful when doing this because we will permanently delete or lose all of those history states preventing us from selectively going back to a specific point in our editing. I'm gonna press Command Z and undo that history deletion. Now, one reason you may want to erase your history for an image is if Lightroom begins to lag a bit. Erasing the history may speed up the software or the preview for a specific image. Now, this history panel works great in conjunction with the snapshots panel. Now, see this previous video regarding snapshots. It's one of my favorite features in Lightroom. Snapshots just provide us the opportunity to save a state in the history as a permanent snapshot. So if I go back to this exposure state, I can right click and select create snapshot. I can just call it exposure, that's fine. And now if I go back to my previous top adjustment, I can get back to that exposure state at any time because I created a snapshot. Let's create another one. I'm gonna create a snapshot of exposure and let's call this exposure two, hit create. Now I can go back and forth between those different states from a history panel. And even if I delete my history, I still have those two states to go back to. I'm gonna undo to get back all those states in my history panel. All right, the history panel in Lightroom Classic is a great way to view the edits we've made to an image. It lists every adjustment we've applied and each state is accessible. We can click on any state and return to that point in our editing. The numbers just right of the state represent the amount of adjustment made to an image. Each history state can be designated as the before image when we view the before and after. History and snapshots work amazingly well together and can be used to help us learn how to better edit our images in Lightroom Classic. Now, if you have any questions regarding the history panel, please add them to the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.